What are you going to do now? I'm not going to do a thing. You treat everybody who comes in here like this? Huh? What's the matter? You don't like the way you're being treated? More than I suggest that you file a complaint. Done. Do I get to read it or do I just get to sign I'll it? I'll read it. It shouldn't take you long. I tried to keep it brief. Left the party approximately 9.30 p.m. Went directly to Kirk Cranston's apartment, arriving there at 9.45. Spent the rest of the night there eating Cranston. Well, it's brief. What about accurate? Is anything wrong with it? It's fine. Then sign it and get back to your honeymoon. Cruz, I don't understand why you can't talk to me. Why don't you just sign the damn thing and get out of here? statement that's it that's it well let me tell you something castillo you had better come up with another suspect real fast thank you for coming in thank you sure wait a minute this is it you were in there all that time just for this two sentences and a signature I'm a slow typist. Thank you both for your cooperation. Eden, what were you two talking about in there? Nothing. Eden. Cruz? What? Wait. Hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, oh. hey. Would you watch it? Are you all right, lady? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, excuse me. Are you sure that you're all right? No, I, I, yeah, I, he didn't hurt me. What do you want? Nothing. Never mind. Uh, sweetheart, would you wait for me out in the car? I just want to talk to Inspector Castillo here for a few minutes. All right. Alone. Um, will you hurry? I want to get back to the Yeah, hotel. I'll be right out. Well, is there some place that we can talk private? Oh, yeah, right in there, pal. I've got a couple of things I'd like to say to you. As a matter of fact... Sorry, I just don't believe for one minute that you brought her in to make that lousy statement. That is just another way of yours of coming in between us, Castillo. That is all that you've wanted ever since that we got married, just to mess us up any way that you can. That's a lot of bull. You know what? You just can't accept the fact that you have lost her and lost her to me. Your ego just can't take that. Don't you say a word to me about anything, man. You're up to your neck in this mess, and I know it. What I don't know yet is exactly how. Sooner or later, you're going to slip up, Kirk, and I'm going to be right there to take you down. You let go of me. No, I'm not done talking to you yet, man. Now, you listen to me. I may not be around much, but I'm watching. You hurt Eden. You do anything whatsoever to hurt Eden. I'm going to make you wish you'd never been born. I'm going to nail that lily-white skin of yours to my front door like a pelvis. You still haven't told me what you two uh, said to each other. Yeah, well, we shouted a lot, that's all. About what? You know, it's been uh, bugging you ever since. Yeah, well, Cruz uh, apparently was blaming me for things. That's what I can't figure out. Accused me of something. Aside from that, he made some threats, told me he's going to be following me, watching me. He watching wants... you? No, why? I don't know. I mean, he's got to know that he can't pin what happened to your father on me. I know he knows the truth, or he just, he guesses. Well, if he does, if he thinks you did it, he's not going to act on it, right? I don't know about that. I think his feelings have changed. You mean now that we're married? Well, don't you think that gives him reason enough to get revenge of some kind? What, Cruz? I didn't think he needed revenge. I thought he was some sort of paragon. Kirk, don't you dare make fun of the way I felt about him. Eden, you don't really think that he's going to turn you in, do you? I don't know. 
I mean, if he doesn't, how long do you think it's going to be before he gives up and decides to close the investigation? I don't think it's going to take too long. They just don't have the manpower to keep this case open indefinitely. I just wish that you'd tell me exactly what it was that you said to Cruz while the two of you were alone. I didn't really say anything. Well, you must have said something to him. The way he came out of that office, he was in such a state. You know what he told me? He said that if I ever hurt you, he was going to make me pay him back. Now, what does that mean? What did you say? I, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything to make him think that. Well, you don't believe that, do you? That I would want to hurt you? Of course not. Obviously, he must still love you. Did he admit that much to you? Kirk, look. He didn't say anything, okay? Well, I'm sure he does. I mean, who wouldn't go on loving you no matter what you did? I certainly would. I really can't resent the way Cruz feels about you. I understand all that. Eden, aren't you ever going to let me get close to you? Look, Kirk, you said you'd be patient with me, that you would wait for me. Well, I have been. Well, I'm sorry. You don't want me to pretend to have feelings I don't have. You wouldn't want that, would you? But how much longer are you going to need? Don't, don't get angry with me, please. It's been very difficult these days, seeing Cruz, the, the looks on his face. We were together for a very long time. It's going to take some time to adjust. Do you still care for him? Care for you. Honestly, I do. I I'm very grateful to you for everything you've done. And I would never turn on you. And if that's what Cruz is waiting for, it will never happen. Forever, I hope. Yes, forever. Well, like I said, you're the woman I've been waiting for all my life. I guess I'll just have to wait a little bit longer. 